How's it going, you guys? AZ Playa 21 here, back again with Out of the Park Baseball 23 and our Los Angeles Angels save. And when I left you guys, we were first in the AL West. Guess what? Still first in the AL West. Um, the save is turning out not to be as hard as I thought it would be because of how good the team is on paper. Uh, so with that said, I mean, when we win the World Series at some point eventually, uh, I'll probably stop this save. This was just kind of to get me going as far as far as out of the park baseball 23 but i'm still having a good time and uh hope you guys are too uh, appreciate you guys if you are watching on youtube or twitch links are down in the description below for all that good stuff uh if you're following me on youtube you know thank you follow me on twitch as well follow me on twitch go subscribe to the channel on youtube all right with that said uh at the end of may not much to talk about we did uh send joe adele down to AAA, brought back up jared walsh since then Walsh doing a little bit better. Joe Adele still down in AAA, not doing the greatest. Um, other than that, a couple of big trades and other moves to talk about. Um, Andrew Velasquez brought him up from AAA. We made a trade, including Jack Mayfield. Uh, so we traded away Jack Mayfield, who, I mean, was not doing very good, honestly. We traded him to the Reds and got back Tyler Naquin, who had been having a really good year. Bringing him in as like kind of a backup bat, um, but bringing in Tyler Naquin, who was on a good year, and this 24-year-old uh, relief pitcher, who it, who's apparently now a starting pitcher, um, but with three-star potential, two-and-a-half-star potential, either way, young pitcher. Uh, so getting good money, or good, good return, I should say, on Jack Mayfield, that's awesome. We also re-signed Noah Syndergaard. He's been having an okay year. Um, the best starting pitcher in our rotation this year. Um, Re-signing him for two years for average annual salary of like 23-4. Good to have him back. Um, Griffin Cannon came back from the DL, sent him back to Salt Lake. Did okay there in his like 20 days, 31, 32 innings pitched, you see. Um, brought it back up, got kind of rocked in his uh, first inning, as you can see there, and uh, hopefully he gets better. Uh, sent down Luis Ranjifo, not having a great year, and we also made a couple of trades that kind of just make sense to send him down. We traded away Archie Bradley. Archie Bradley was having a terrible year on $3 million. He wanted a new contract. It wasn't going to happen, so might as well just get rid of him. Got rid of Archie Bradley, and in return, we got back left fielder Alec Burleson from the Cardinals. Why did they give me this guy? Even the, o the OSA ratings have him rated higher than my scout have him, and they wanted to give this guy away for Archie Bradley, of all people. I mean, I don't get it, but this guy looks amazing. Three and a half star potential at the worst. Four star potential that OSA says. <coughs> That's awesome. So we got Alec Burleson, and we also got another young pitcher in Yordi Richard. Hopefully he does the business. He's already down in the Dominican Republic doing the business as we speak. With that said, it is July 1st, International Amateurs time. Um, top prospects in the class, two and a half star potential. Oh well, we have $5 million to spend, might as well spend it. I'm gonna spend it on Mike Genori. Um, this third baseman out of Venezuela. Uh, looks like he'll be good at avoiding not uh, strikeouts, I should say. Pretty good contact uh, potential. The power Eventually, we'll get there, hopefully. A Venezuelan slash Italian. Very interesting. Um, so hopefully, he develops into something. Going to be signing him. Uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and simulate to the first year player draft, which I'm very excited for. Shohei Otani still leading the league in... Uh, oh, wow. Did he already sign? Oh, my God. He's not going to sign with us. Okay, cool. Um, all right, Daniel Vasquez, two and a half stars. Let's go ahead and see if he'll sign with us. Uh, I, I mean, he only wants... To, we'll offer him more. Okay, cool. Three million for Daniel Vasquez. Uh, two and a half star shortstop. Some okay potential. Hopefully we can get him. Um, Taylor Ward is out for a week. That's fine. Send him on the DL for a little bit. Uh, we're six and a half games above the Rangers. The Rangers are in second place. Artie Moreno sending us uh, good work getting Noah Syndergaard back. 
I know I said you didn't have to be in the postseason. We're doing a good job. Yada, yada, yada. We are doing great. Player development. Reed Detmers. Potential up to three and a half stars. And uh, doing very well this year, actually. Eight and two. Nice. Griffin Canning. Down to three stars. Not the best. Brandon Marsh. Okay. Red Hefo's potential dropped. He's not been having a good year. Hopefully he can recover a little bit. Trey Cabbage. Love that name. Two and a half star potential. Coleman Crow, class A, up to one star. Deshaun Knowles. Yordy Richard up to 1.5 stars as a star as a starting pitcher. Two and a half stars potential. Denzer Guzman, three star potential now. As a shortstop, love to see that out of the rookie league guy. Uh, Santana, two star potential now as a right fielder. Love that. Our guys are developing. Love to see it. Uh, Taylor Ward. Out with a herniated disc. We knew that already. Um, prefer the offer from Boston. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Kind of want to get that guy. It's not the end of the world if we don't. I'm mainly concerned about the first year player draft. Tyler wait out for seven weeks. That's a little bit under 60 days. Um, that sucks. 15 day DL. Time to bring back Joe Adele. <clears throat> Any pitchers that we want to bring up now? 13 pitchers. Let's see. Oliver Ortega, maybe. Doing okay. Cooper Criswell. Not doing the greatest. Ren Hifo, Wallach, Jonathan Diaz. Doing pretty well over in AAA, but only 23 innings pitch. Ren Hifo not doing the greatest. 24 innings pitch, 19 innings pitched. 24 innings pitch from Wander Suero. Matt Thice doing well for himself. Jaime Barria is not doing well for himself. Davis Daniel. Jose Rojas having a pretty good year. Ryan Smith. Having a good year. Let's give him let's give him a, ch a chance. Give a chance to Ryan Smith. Let's go to the first year player draft. Matt Duffy eligible to come off the IL. Okay, who did we just who did we just bring up? Sorry. Uh, Ryan Smith. Jansen Junk not doing the greatest. Um Bring back Matt Duffy. First year player draft, we go. All right. First year player draft time. Uh, we don't have any top prospects. That's okay. How are we doing in the all-star rankings? We have Mike Trout. We have Shohei Otani. And we have Rysel Iglesias. Makes sense. First year player draft. Um, 20 rounds. Uh, how much? I think we have 13 million. 13th we are picking. Import 2022 draft results. Um, I'm going to hit start draft because I don't know what that import button does. Uh, we're going to go by our scouting director. All players. Auto draft. And we are here. My guess is that he's going to try to recommend Hunter Barco to me. But that is quite a large demand. Quite a large demand for a pitcher that is three-star potential. Uh, TJ Brock, no. Marcelo Perez, no. Jacob Berry would not mind. 
at 21. Nicholas Perez would not mind. I believe it's because is it international now? I don't know. Scouting accuracy on these guys are very high. Um, who are they recommending? AJ Shepard catcher? That's a very good point because we do need a catcher of the future now that Kurt Suzuki is leaving. Um, let's take a look at him. 50, 45, 55, 50, 60. Uh, not the best defensively. Um... I'm not sure he's worth a first-round pick. Hunter Barco. I'd probably much rather have, but he's way expensive. Kevin Anchors. Uh, 40. A little bit better defensively, but not that much. Um, Jacob Berry. What's up with him? Not anything to write home about, honestly. Um, yeah, we'll rock with AJ Shepard. He he's demanding nine hundred fifty thousand. We'll go ahead and meet that demand, and then we'll auto draft. Uh, Kevin Anchors is still there. That's hilarious. Um, who are my scouts suggesting? Carson Bowen, the catcher. Another catcher. Don't think I'm going to spend on another catcher. Um, I really would like a starting pitcher at this point. Uh, Jackson Finley out of college. Bryce Hubbard. Mm. A lot of shortstops. Need to get the starting pitchers while I can. Um, between Finley and Hubbard, Dawson Place, mm, I like Dawson Place, how much did he want, slot? Hmm, Jackson Finley would be way cheaper. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Finley here. He'd be cheaper. Meet demand. Auto draft. All right, who are they suggesting that I take? Starting pitcher, Andrew Taylor. Two and a half stars. I like that. Uh, his demand's not that high. Let's go ahead and take him. And auto draft. Let's see here. A lot of two and a half stars. Uh, Carson Bowen, the catcher again. Um, they really like this kid, huh? At this point, I am willing to take a shot on him. Uh, two hundred fifty thousand. That's not that bad. I'll go ahead and meet that demand. Go and auto draft. They want me to take a reliever, Ben Specht. From the University of Florida. Who looks major league ready, honestly. Just like a year or two away. Um, looks like he'd be ready very, very soon, honestly. I'm going to trust their judgment there. He looked pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and draft him. Let's go and auto draft again. A lot of two and a half still. I still see Dawson place there. Um, CJ Nice Jr. They're recommending to me. The third baseman. Only two star potential. Not sure what they're seeing there. Um, I'm liking Dawson Place now. Uh, yeah, and I'll take him. Dawson Place. Welcome to the team. Go ahead and move forward. Who are they suggesting? Cameron Wagner starting pitcher. Who are you, Cameron Wagner? I uh, don't like the movement. The control's not there. I don't like it. Two-star potential. No thank you. Um, uh, Adrian Dominguez, high school kid, it looks like. Not going to go after that guy. He's impossible. Sonny, Andi Chahara, Justin Boyd. 
Cutter Coffee, no thanks. Justin Boyd, nothing crazy. Adrian Dominguez, I like Adrian Dominguez. Can play third, but is probably going to develop into a first baseman, it looks like. I like Adrian Dominguez. Can I draft him from here? I cannot. We're going to take Adrian Dominguez. Auto draft. Who are they recommending? Still CJ Nice. At this point, I'm willing to trust their, ju 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 their judgment. Um, and we'll go ahead and take Nice Jr. Auto drafting again. Let's see here. They want me to take Peyton Chagnier. Uh, one and a half star potential out of college. And he's not looking very good, so I'm going to not trust them there. Um, Crew Robinson, 22 years old, can develop into a little bit of a home run hitter. Hit some pretty good home runs this year for UC San Diego. Uh, Justin Boyd, still nothing really. Sonny, big power hitter. Uh, I like that. If he can develop into that, I'd be happy. So I'll go ahead and take Sonny here. All right, let's go ahead and see who they're suggesting. They're still suggesting Cameron. I think they suggested him a while ago, and he's still here. Um, but now in round, what, 12? Yeah, round 12 or 11. I'll go ahead and take Cameron now. Auto draft. Who are they suggesting? Jaden Hilton, first baseman. I think I just took a first baseman. Two-star potential. He's a high school kid. Uh, again, the home run power. Hit some this year. Uh, 418 average in high school. Now, about right now is to the time where I start to like look at their stats and kind of going money ball with it. Uh, so like OBP. Bryant Cologne, who are you? Juco freshman Bryant Cologne. <clears throat> Playing against poor competition. Peyton Tomaney? Paxton Tomaney. I'm sorry. Uh, let's look at OPS. Who has high OPS that's okay? Like Nick Greeny. Uh, apparently, two way player, it looks like. Looks like he. I mean, did not do that well. Well, he didn't really bat that much either. So not the best stats to go off of, probably. Um, Carson Sabathia. Big OPS. High discipline home run is there. Hmm. Sabathia looks good. Roman Anthony. I'll take a flyer on Sabathia. At this point, these like 13th round guys, like you can take flyers on, go with your judgment, whoever you want. Um, because not that it doesn't matter necessarily. Um, not that it doesn't matter, but like they're not going to amount to that much. Let's look at the strikeout kings. Wallace State Junior College. A lot of strikeouts. This guy absolutely obliterated everybody. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take Stogner. Did very well. They want me to take Calvert Clark. Looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and take him. They want me to take Jordan Armstrong, starting pitcher, who looks major league ready in a couple years, honestly. So yeah, I'll go ahead and take him, Jordan Armstrong. And I think we, current round 15, okay, 16. Reliever, Isaac Stevens. Movement's pretty good, sinker and a slider. If he can develop another pitch, that would be very, very good. Let's go ahead and take Isaac Stevens. All right, let's see who else they're recommending. Max Cotier, 
Second baseman out of Virginia. Not looking like much. Not a very good average or anything like that. Um, let's look at batters again. Let's look at the home run hitters. Dylan Brewer out of Clemson. Uh, home run powers there a little bit. Ole Miss, North Carolina. Kevin Graham. Tyler Cossey. No. Zach Hogason. Cal State Fullerton. Damone Hale. No. IMG Academy, Chase Ingram. Oh, yeah. Anybody coming out of there is going to be a stud for sure. Mac Anglin coming out of Clemson. Okay. Pitcher out of England. Looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and take him. And I think we have like two more picks. Austin Crobb, starting pitcher. Major League ready in a couple years by the looks of it. All right, Jackson Kelly starting pitcher. A um, couple good pitches. I want another strikeout king to end my draft, honestly. Mm, good. Looking for good at the very least. Competition. Miami University. We'll go ahead and take uh, Kenton Egbert out of Miami University. And our draft is done. All right, so let's go ahead and go and negotiate with our draftees. We already got our offers in. So AJ Shepard, our first pitch, should be a three-star catcher in the future. Jackson Finley looks like a decent pitching prospect. Same with Andrew Taylor. And then Carson Bowen, another catcher. Um, just because Suzuki's leaving this year and uh, we need to, uh, you know, make sure we take care of that spot. Um, the next time I see you guys is probably going to be around the trading deadline of July 31st. Um, again, appreciate you guys for watching, uh, whether you're on YouTube or Twitch. If you are watching on YouTube, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Got a lot more videos of this save and out the Park Baseball 23 coming. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, leave a follow. Appreciate you guys as always, and uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day.